Hello, my name is Steve Stein and welcome to this month's instructional video courtesy of Guitar World and LessonFace.com. This month I'd like to focus on a technique that I refer to as bursting to try and help speed up your playing a little bit. In one of my earlier instructional videos, what I was showing you how to do was a, a technique where you, you focus on the uh, left hand and then you focus on the right hand and then you, you do a synchronicity thing between both hands, uh, which a lot of players do, which is this one, two, three, four. <laughs> kind of technique. Um, but what I found is a lot of players, when they want to go fast, if they're being, you know, faithful to the metronome, let's say they're sitting at, you know, 120 on the metronome or, or 130 on the metronome and they're doing 16th notes, but they want to go significantly faster than that. Um, what I do is I show them a technique that I refer to as bursting. And what it is, is if we think about time and we think about the metronome, what happens a lot of times is you'll have a certain, you know, again, if you're being faithful with the metronome, you'll have a certain speed that you can go at with the metronome and you really can't seem to get any faster than that. And what I found is that if we attack, if we attack speed from both sides, from upward and, and downward, and then we just keep kind of condensing that, we can ultimately learn how to play at, at incredibly fast speeds. So this is what I, what I mean by that. So let's say we've got our metronome set and we're practicing going like this. I'm, I'm doing four notes. So I'm going five, six, seven, eight. And I'm doing that over and over and over with the metronome. So maybe I'm going. And I'm really concentrating on trying to keep everything even and keep it clean and everything like that, which is great. That's exactly what we want. But let's say we use the scenario of bursting, and what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take those same four notes on the fourth string, which is five, six, seven, eight, and this time, instead of using the metronome, I'm gonna shut the metronome off, and I'm gonna try and play these four notes as fast as humanly possible. Now, if you've never done this before, it's gonna sound quite messy when you first start. So understand that this is completely different than what we were doing with the metronome, we're going to start by trying to, you know, let's say, let's say <laughs> a, a pack of dogs is chasing you and, and you need to run away. You'll probably run faster than you've ever run in your entire life. Well, what we want to do is we want that same kind of scenario. We want to play faster than we've ever played. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start trying to line it up. We're going to start synchronizing it on its own. So we have the technique of practicing with the metronome at our structured speed, which we do want to do. And then this part here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these four notes and we're gonna break it down. Let's say I wanted those four notes, so I know I go down, up, down, up. So I start listening to myself thinking, okay, so I have to go down, up, down, up. So what I do is I just try and play, instead of going as fast as I can, I'm gonna separate that and just do a group of four. You just practice over and over and over. It doesn't matter what string you're on or anything like that, but you just practice those four down, up, down, up as fast as you possibly can go with your hand. And then you stop. And you don't have to make like a pattern where you're going da da dun da da dun da da dun over and over and over rhythmically. That's not the point. The point is to try and get four of these out as fast as possible and then set yourself again and do it again. And then do it again. Just keep trying to get four out. And what you're emphasizing is the fact that you're ending on that da that up strum, excuse me, down, up, down, up. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hand, and once we kinda have that structured, we're gonna start trying to add our left hand into what our right hand is doing. We're not gonna slow down and again, methodically try and put them together in a logical sense. We're just gonna try and play the sucker as fast as humanly possible. The left hand has to learn how to keep up with the right hand. And if, if you're like most people, you know, it's your third and your pinky that you're gonna run into the most problem with. And that's why we practice, you know, I have another video, one of the first videos I did that talks about, you know, strengthening your fingers and all that sort of thing. Um, but right now our goal is, is that we're going to try and put these two together. We're gonna, we're gonna synchronize them. So let's say I got those four and I'm gonna add this in now. So I'm trying to line those four up with these four. Now, again, this hand might not be fast enough. You might be going and you're not really getting that in there. So you have to keep practicing this over and over and over to get the two hands to start understanding what's happening. Okay, so what's happening here, it, the bigger picture is, we've got our metronome speeds that we're doing with our metronome and we're methodically playing through our scale or playing through the, the chromatic shape, the, the one, two, three, four, all the way up the fretboard and back down, 
um, like we did in my first video, or one of my first videos anyway. And we keep building that up. We keep building our strength and our, our, our technical capacity and cleanliness and all that sort of thing. And what this is, is it's coming from the other side now. Now we're as fast as we possibly can be. And we're just, we're not using a metronome. It has nothing to do with that. We're just trying to line these fingers up, okay? <laughs> So you're trying to line that up over and over and over, okay? So this is what we're gonna call shred speed, okay? We still have our down here speed, maybe we're at 140 or whatever, and we gotta keep building that up, but this right here is just gonna be our incredibly fast speed that we're trying to build by synchronization with our hands. So you just keep doing that over and over and over, and like I said, the big thing is, is don't make a pattern, you don't have to go. You don't have to keep doing it over and over and over, you might just do one maybe another string or it doesn't matter what string doesn't matter what fret. and you're just trying to get that going okay now let's say you kind of figure that out you figure out how to get these four fingers to kind of line up with that pick now the next thing we got to do is we got to try and attach which is the hardest part for most people is to try and attach onto the next string so we have down up down up and then of course we have a down on the next string so instead of doing the pattern repeatedly we're just going to take and then this so again what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to take the down up down up and then the down of the next string and just get used to how that feels to end with an upstroke on the previous string and then down on the new string. Does that kind of make sense? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left hand, put it back in there. And keep trying to add it again. Again, not, not methodically with a metronome, just as fast as I can possibly do this. And try and get the two to make sense with each other. Now, this can be really sloppy when you first start learning how to do it, and it's okay. Like I said, you're trying to build something completely different um, where you're trying to move your, again, it's like moving your legs faster than you've ever moved them before. Um, you probably can't do it for a long period of time necessarily, but you're trying, and again, that will come in time as well. But for now, we're just doing short bursts, okay? Or blasts of speed as quickly as possible to get from one place to the next, whether it's just four notes or it's four notes plus one on the next string. So as you continue practicing your normal um, daily exercises, this is one that you can do just to, just to try and get a, a synchronicity thing happening between your hands. And again, it doesn't matter what string. You could be anywhere you wanna be. It doesn't make any difference. But just start building from, now we're, we're going from as fast as we possibly can, and then we can start slowing that down as well. So we take the one that we were doing before as we're building up, and we take this one, we start moving back down, okay? So bursting, really great technique to start learning how to get your hands to, to truly synchronize. Um, you just, again, have to really pay attention to detail. You know, don't expect, or don't accept slop. As it, as it starts off sloppy, continually, gradually get it stronger and stronger as you go. So take care and let me know if you have any questions about anything. Otherwise, remember to practice every day and, uh, and make sure that you make it fun for yourself.